Um, so what I'm going to get started on was the first one you guys asked for, which is i to the 55th. So we have i to the 55th. All right, so what we need to remember for this one is real quickly just going back to uh, remembering what our i stood for. Remember i, we represented the square root of negative 1, right? i represented the square root of 1. And we can also rewrite it as i to the first power. And then what we did is we kept on re rewriting i times i times i times i. So then we end up getting i squared. Well, square, square root of negative 1 squared end up equaling just negative 1. Then we multiplied by i again to give us i cubed, and that gives us negative i. Then we multiplied by i again, which would be a negative i times i, which end up giving us a positive 1. And what we found out was after we continued this pattern, the i's kept on repeating. right? And they repeated, and they repeated, and they repeated. So all we know is if I say i to the 55th, what is that worth? Well, we know there's a repetition of 4. So every single time we get to the fourth one, then the next one, it repeats. So what I want to do is I want to remove all these repetitions. Because every single time it goes up to 4, it repeats. right? So I want to remove the total amount of repetitions. So it takes four times for it to repeat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, 55 divided by 4. Because 4 is going to represent how many times it's going to take for it to repeat. So we say, all right, 4 divides into 55 how many times? 13 would be 12, right? So it would be 52. Yeah. So you could say 4 times 13 equals 52, right? So therefore, you could say there has been 13 repetitions. That means I go, one through, I go through this cycle 13 times. But we're not interested in how many times it goes through the cycle. We're interested in on what's the final value. So what's the remainder? If I get up to 52, then I'm going to have a remainder of what? What's my remainder? So 4 divides into 55. All right, we know 13 times, but what's the remainder? 3, right? So therefore, that's going to be the exponent. So it's really i to the 55th is pretty much being repeated 13 times, but then it leaves us with the remainder of 3. And i cubed, we know, is equal to negative i. OK? Ronnie? Good? You guys got that? Good. Oh, done race. Hit the button. Hit the button. There we go.